Welcome to Virtuoso. We're playing the recently released Steam version on a MetaQuest 2 through Virtual Desktop. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 10,000 subscribers, it'd be fantastic if you're one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the game or any tips you have for Virtuoso. Let's get into it. Virtuoso has been available in early access in App Lab for a while now, and today it has its full release, both on Steam and in the Quest Store. So let's go through the tutorial and check things out. I am sitting down on a drum throne because I think that's going to give me a little more stability for trying to hit the instruments. Welcome to Virtuoso. Let's jump straight in and play some instruments. Look at your controllers and open the menu by holding the flashing button. The menu is where you access your instruments, tools, and settings. Let's open an instrument. All right. The board. Great. You might want to move things around so they're not in front of each other. Point your laser at the instrument and grab it using the grip button. Move the instrument, then do the same with the tutorial panel so you can comfortably see both. Press continue on the tutorial panel when you're done. Easy enough. Just point the laser at them and grip to move. Looking good. To play on most instruments, you need to put your hands inside of them. Put a hand into the note fields and pull the trigger to play a note. Try playing a few different notes, then press continue when you're ready to move on. That's fun. Nice, rich sound. You got it. Each instrument is a bit different in how it's played. On this one, you can play notes using either the trigger, grip, or thumb button. You can also try tilting your hands while playing. Give it a go. So we got some filters being applied. Well done, you'll get the hang of this in no time. The instruments come with a control panel where you can change their settings. For example, you can select which sound to use. Go ahead and try playing with a different sound. Super Saw Replicant from Blade Runner. What else we got? Womp it.
hard to stop. Nice. That last sound is my favorite. Let's try a different instrument altogether. Close the board and use the menu to open the M pads instead. M pads. When you open the M pads, you get a pair of drumsticks. Try hitting the pads with the sticks to play some drum sounds. A little more of that. Playing harder or lighter will affect volume. All right. Sweet. When you've found some sounds that you like, you can pull out pads from the main panel by pointing at them with your laser and using the grip button. Try extracting a few pads Hi and arrange okay. them into your own little drum kit. So can we move this? We can. So there we got our hi-hat. Grab a snare. Bit high. There we go. Grab a bass drum. Ooh. Is that hitting it because it's beneath it? I don't think we want that. Hard to get them not to trigger. Got to get the the right spacing. All right, let's go with that. Um, maybe a maybe a crash over here. And the ride up there. Okay, move that a bit because we're getting the... All right. It can be Continue. really hard to play a tight beat as a new player. Luckily, we have a feature to help you. Enable tempo sync on the M pads. Turning on tempo sync gives you a tempo. You can feel each beat and see them as blinking lights on your controllers. If you play the drums with tempo sync set to one fourth, the drums will only trigger on each beat. Try it out. Yeah, I can feel the vibrations of each beat in the controller. One, two, three, four. Although the snare is hitting late. I don't know what that's about. Can we turn on this sync late hits? That's better. All right. The sound will always be pushed to the next beat after your hit. Interesting. I 
That seems slow. Let's Continue. make it more fun. Turn up the tempo sync to 1 16th and try hitting the drums as quickly as you can. Now you're talking. This tempo is great for hi-hats and toms. We don't have a tom yet, do we? Not out here. See? Now you can be a drummer without being able to keep a beat. Virtuoso will keep it for you. I think it's time to make our first recording. Open the Sweet. looper from the menu on your controller. Okay, looper. Let's move this over here. The looper has a big recording button that you hit with your hand or your drumstick. When you hit it, it will wait for you to play something before it starts recording. As soon as you hit the button again, it will start looping the sounds you just played. Try it out by recording a drum loop. All right. Groovy. If you're not satisfied, you can press the re-record button and try again. If you're happy, press continue and we'll add some tunes. Let's get a bass drum in there. Get the cowbell. <laughs> Fun, but I think we'll leave it out. Da -da 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 -da. What want for that? Ooh, that one sounds good. triggering the others, so let's get that over here. Nah, that didn't work very well. some of these around so I don't miss hit. That's pretty good. Okay, so now let's move this over here, I guess. What's next? Open the board instrument again and use it to record some notes on top of your beat. Don't worry if it doesn't sound very good right away. It takes time to become a virtuoso. Press okay. continue when you're ready to move on. The board. We don't want it there. Let's find a good sound. Not quite. Mm, not the 
this fast. Ooh, tempo sync. That's a good thing to put on. changes a bit earlier. Oh, I missed the... I missed the stop. Pads now. All right, let's close those. Delete that once more. Try it again. Okay, I don't have a stick to hit it anymore. I gotta hit it with my controller.
try something. Save this masterpiece now so you can come back to it later. Open the song library from the menu on your controllers. From here, you can save your song and listen to stuff other people have made. Don't worry, your song won't be shared online unless you create an account and click the Share with Community. For now, just hit the Save button, give your song a name, then click Save As at the bottom of the screen. Alright. That's it for this tutorial. From That's here, it. You can jump right into exploring the other instruments, or you can click community songs to see what other people are creating. You can also find more video tutorials from the tutorials tab on the controller menu. Good luck. We really hope you'll enjoy Virtuoso. Alright, continue. So I did an audio test initially, so I'm gonna load that up. This is the first loop I came up with when I went through the tutorial for my audio check. More of a perturbator, laser hawk kind of jam. But there you go. Quick taste of Virtuoso, available on Steam and the Quest Native Store. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 10,000 subscribers. It'd be fantastic if you're one of them. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or Virtuoso or any tips you have. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>